I think uh, the most important is that, uh, you know, uh, being a teacher is not, uh, it's not something you can purchase, you know, and it's not some, being a teacher is not something that you can get a position because you want to. Uh, in the normal world, yes, you know, you have to be a teacher, you have to graduate, uh, you have to get salary, and uh, you have to educate other people, you have to approve them to be the next graduate as well, you know. So there's a whole system of that. And that is absolutely right and true in that world. But in the Buddhist world, whether it's a Vajrayana, whether it's Mahayana, whether it's Theravada, you know, the most important is that, that we have to understand is that teacher title is not something you can buy and it's not something you can get because you want to. Teacher is the quality of that being, you know. So uh, nowadays and also in the past, in the time of Buddha, since then until now, uh, many things has changed, but nothing has changed at the same time. Uh, whenever there's a, a great uh, a master, there's always a false teacher, you know. So uh, that is the reality of our world, you know. And there's a many individual uh, doing many beneficial things for, for the world, for the humanity. And just like that, there's uh, some other people who are into uh, some kind of a negative illusion and doing harmful things to others as well. So, good and bad is uh, is there, relatively. And, uh, and one thing that uh, I understood is that when the individual is has a, has a greed and attachment, and it's very easy to manipulate uh, other people. And especially, you know, calling yourself a teacher and sitting on the, how do I say, a very golden throne. It is very beautiful to see my guru like that. I like to see my guru like that because I have a pure devotion to my guru. But I never find myself uh, uh, to be in that position. Of course, being Kalurambuche is one thing, you know, to engage with the responsibility. And of course, I respect all the great master, and especially my guru who sit on the high throne, that I find it very beautiful, I find it very meaningful, and I find it very special, because I have a pure devotion, because he is an authentic, genuine, great Mahasiddha, you know. But I don't find myself in that position, because uh, if you are too far away from your student, then they don't realize why you have to sit on the high throne, you know. So I think it's important that uh, to uh, to study and practice with the student and the Sangha together as close as possible. And the true throne, the real throne, the real title is that when the student has a devotion to the Buddha Dharma and the Guru, and that is the real throne. That is the real title. That is the real connection. You know, other things that are intentionally creating is not natural. You know, so therefore it is not beneficial. Therefore it is not inspiring or encouraging to others. So that's one thing that uh, that I have understood. I respect the principle of Vajrayana that you see your teacher as a Buddha. But many of us, we are unfortunate, you know, so therefore we have to be careful and yet at the same time keep our mindset pure as possible with courage and wisdom together.